Hello YouTube. Um, one more update here before I start uh, going to work on all these aquariums um, and say hi to Max. He's always eager to say hi. Hello. Okay. Um, don't bug me, he says. Okay, so couple changes to the aquarium. Um, we no longer have the arowana, the silver arowana. Um, fish are pretty much cured. Um, however, we do have a newer arrival, which is this jewel cichlid. And you can compare, this is a bigger cichlid than jewel cichlid than the one I already have. But have a look at the one in the back. That's mine, the one I've raised up. And it has a nice healthy belly compared to look at this one from the store. It is skinny. It needs some food. So um, Benjamin is still happy. There were some changes to the tank. This is uh, a video following uh, a lot of cleaning and things that were done and treatment um, still still uh, is going on. So um, I had to make some room here um, in the aquarium because these guys are getting bigger and this is what it looks like now. This is the, the new landscape um, or waterscape um, for now. The flower horn is still with us. Everybody else is here. Now the arowana as in many, many YouTube videos, did jump out of the aquarium. I came home and it was laying in front of the aquarium. Um, even though I had a hockey puck on the lids, it managed to jump out. Um, how, I, I do not know. Um, it wasn't uh, a big arowana, but I, I'll take it as a sign that I am not to have an arowana in this aquarium, and I'll leave it at that. If I do see one in the future, maybe, but at this point, I'll stick with these guys, and we've added a jewel cichlid. So, and another reason why I'm making this video is I picked up some alert series um, testers, and it says here, no strips, no tests, just constant uh, readings and it lasts for like one year for the ammonia test and pH goes three to six months. Now um, this is what they look like. Um, I think this this is from uh, a company there. So it's better than um, pretty much just putting all these, using all these chemicals and tests and um, buying test strips all the time. So, as you can see, my colors for for my ammonia, it takes about 15 minutes for it to, to fill in. So that's sitting, I think that's where it should be. It looks like it's a safe, you, you, you notice the circle in the middle, right? That's what changes colors. And the um, pies on the outside of the circle, that's just a label of what the color would be. So I'm, I think I'm still in the safe gray color. So here you can see my pH levels. And this actually takes some time. It's The color is still climbing. Um, the ammonia test takes about, um, 15 minutes now this can take a, a little bit longer they said so uh, let's see the package here uh don't know if you guys can read but uh it may take up to a few days uh well anyway I don't want to bore you guys with my little testers, but it is a good indication, good thing to do to test your waters. And uh, Max will be the one in charge of the tester, right? That's right, he'll tell me. Um, okay, so that's the big change here. 
Now, let me see if I can flip the camera around. Well, let's just go over to the big change that I want to show you. And that is my second shelf is now in place. And you see there's another aquarium coming in for my guppies. And I've also bought some dividers so I can split these aquariums into two and have, let's say, half the aquarium red guppies, half an aquarium blue guppies, right? So this is, this is as far as I want to go other than one more little update. I'm going to walk up the stairs here and show you guys what's coming up next to the big tank. So next to the big tank, um, I've got this 55 gallon aquarium. It's just sitting here with a stand and it's pretty much ready to go. Um, that's the update. And yeah, basically it'll be sitting right next to, to the aquarium, to the big tank. Um, I also bought some um, water clear um, water clear today, so this will help get rid of the um, get rid of the uh, little fog in the aquarium. Now, my aquarium is placed in such a place in the basement where. I actually cannot really get any natural sunlight into into here, so um, I can't really do a, a plants in this aquarium. So that's why I use a lot of plastic plants and decorations. Um, so that will most likely continue with the 55 gallon aquarium. And um, yeah, so as you can see, everybody is doing great. The medicine works. Um, the unfortunate part is my arowana and I don't know why this is the second fish that jumped out of my aquarium. Originally if you remember I lost a knife fish. It um, also jumped out of the aquarium. So so um, I do have my lids closed. I just do not know what they are doing, I mean, there's a lot of predators, maybe something is chasing it and it just didn't fit into the tank and it just jumped out because it, it got chased. So, so I have to be careful, make sure that if I do purchase fish that they can actually uh, not be scared of the others, right? And, and I think that's as far as I really need to go with fish. I, I'm going to get a couple more jewel uh, cichlids. I want to do um, quite a bit of jewel cichlids in this tank and a couple big guys at the top. So we'll see how it progresses. Um, so there's the update, there's the aquarium. One more time I'll go over my losses. So when you do get your tank and if you have kids, remember you will lose fish. There's, um, I don't think there's anyone in this hobby that has not lost fish. And it's not what you do. Sometimes they come from the store, they're not very hardy, and two weeks later or a month later they die just because they were raised that way. They're just weak. So there's a lot that you have to do to, as you can see, like my cichlid's pretty skinny, the one I bought, he's hungry, um, didn't, doesn't look as healthy as he should, but he's just malnourished a little bit. Otherwise, um, let's go over that again. So originally I lost the knife fish. That was one of my losses. Um, I lost the arowana. That was another one. I lost the sardine looking fish with a stripe. If anyone knows the name, that'd be great. So that's three fish I lost. Um, 
But most of the other fish are getting along just fine. I am a little bit worried about my chocolate cichlid. He seems to be the piñata in this aquarium. Now he's getting bigger and stronger, but I think it's that kind of cichlid where he will look a little bit beat up. I think he's just um, got that kind of look to him. I, If it continues, I'll think about uh, alternatives for him, but I do not want to lose him. But every, every day he's got some kind of scrape on him from someone uh, or something. So, so I got to make sure that uh, they stay healthy and I don't really want to see him getting beat up all the time. So I'll have to see if I want to put him in a new tank or return him to the store. Not likely, but he's been in here for quite a while and he's been doing just great. Uh, he's just got a couple of scrapes and bruises for some reason they pick on him. So those are the main things I wanted to show you is a change in the in the uh, way the aquarium looks. I um, took out a little bit of uh, leafage uh, in the middle, gave them a lot of space, um, especially because my flower horn is getting more and more aggressive as he's uh, getting comfortable in the aquarium and starting to grow. I do want him and Benjamin to, to not fight or if they do fight, I want them to have space uh, so they don't hurt each other on the decorations. Um, so stay tuned, watch my fish grow. I'll add some more tanks for the um, for my guppies as well. So what I'm trying to do is show you guys how we're progressing into building my idea of, of a fish room for me based on what I can afford and um, and what I can actually do and learn with me um, on some interesting tools and tricks and um, you know anything I learn I'll kind of pass it along as well I mean um, it's really a lot of the things you hear about but until you actually implement them in your aquarium you don't realize how important advice is so I'll show you guys another little trick I've picked up I actually um, decided to do this um, myself now I've got this a plastic cup and what I do is I take frozen um, frozen cubes um, of bloodworms and I kind of stir it with water in here and what happens is they um, they dissolve uh, the, the ice dissolves and they're just kind of loose in the cup so next what I've got is I use a uh, turkey uh, you know eye drop thingy whatever the name is and I suck them up in here and then I go into my various tanks and I can just drop a little bit at a time versus overfeeding dropping the whole cube in um, so this works fantastic for me um, that's the advice I have, watch your water. As you can see, my pH is starting to pop up slowly. I do want to keep it a little higher because um, I do use some, um, some chemicals to keep it a little higher. So close to eight or, or so, or, or, or seven, seven plus is where I want it, right? So. Um, I, I uh, think that's a good look at uh, the aquarium. Unfortunately, no more arowana. And things are starting to look a little bit better. Water is clearing up. And my Benjamin, he's still adjusting because we're still curing this tank. All right, you guys uh, have fun. 
and I'll see you next time.